Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be painting the Rage Drake. And this is the last mini boss in the Wrath of a Shardalon series. Next I will be covering the heroes. This will be one of the shorter video in the series because only one technique was used while I painted this miniature. I used mostly dry brushing because this is a very detailed miniature but all of the details are just basically textures and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to um, practice my dry brushing. And I decided to go with three colors. Flesh gets yellow, Mephist and red, and black. The reason I chose these colors is that they give an impression of a fiery magma-like being. I don't really know where I saw uh, a picture of a Rage Drake painted like this, but I really liked it and I wanted to try it for myself. So that being said, the first step is to base coat it with the lightest color, the brightest color, which will simulate the core of the being. And for that, we, I went with Flesh Gets Yellow. Now, the whole process is a relatively boring one, and this is a big miniature. That is why most of the footage for this video will be sped up, because it involves just repeating the same step over and over and over. And first of all, like I said, is the base coat, and this took quite a while due to the fact that I did not have a base a version of Flash Gets Yellow, I had a layer version of Flash Gets Yellow, which is a slightly more transparent paint. So I actually had to do around two coats of it just to fully cover the model in yellow. After the base coat was done, I took some fist and red and I started dry brushing the model. The dry brushing process takes a lot of time because you have to go back and forth and I made a lot of mistakes. I mostly don't show them on the videos because I edited them all out, but whenever the brush actually was left without any paint in it and I had to uh, get more paint, I'm not always um, got enough of, off on the paper towels. So I may have added blobs of paint on the model that I didn't intend to and then had to go back with uh, the base coating of uh, yellow and then the red and when we get to the black it's even worse. So yeah, it takes a while and there were a lot of mistakes to be fixed.
there were some spots on the model where I decided that it would be a better idea to have the sort of reddish color sort of like where the muscles are tensed I thought I think it came out looking great let me know what you think I see now why the basing is done at the, after painting the model because ah, I had to actually rip some of the stones off because they were getting wobbly and I wanted them to be safe and to be easily put back together. But at the same time, spilling dust and the sand over a freshly painted model does not sound very good to me. And now I get to the black dry brushing part. As you can see, the model already looks amazing, but the third layer is going to make it look absolutely incredible. Again, this is one of my best miniatures that I <laughs> painted so far. I keep saying that of each new miniature I paint, but I, I believe that my skills are getting better. There's not much I can say about the dry brushing black process that uh, is different from the red one. I just covered a little bit less than I did with the red so that the red is still visible under the black so to speak. Now what I wanted to say is that while I was painting this I was still not fully recovered in my back and that is why the, I could not use my studio. So, the background that you see there is an old DM screen that, that I had back in college. <laughs> wow, those are the days. And, um, yeah, that's where the picture comes from. It's a 3.5 uh, edition that I think I found online somewhere and I printed myself and stitched together. And it's point there is not necessarily to offer an interesting background but to hide the light switch that is behind it.
the final step after dry brushing with black is the addition of uh, all the tiny details, the tongue, the eyes, and so on and so forth. But that took significantly less than expected, and it might be lost in the speed up of the dry brushing part of the videos. So. In the end, I will just allow you to enjoy the final shots where everything is complete. And if you like the video, subscribe and share it with a friend. I would really like the channel to grow, and my first goal would be 100 subscribers.